Now in this video, I just want to quickly show you one of the other facets of SQL Server, and that is the reporting system, SSRS. Now, if you've installed Visual Studio, that's where you need to go to. So I'm going to open Visual Studio 2017, you might have 2019 or 2015. And if you see your evaluation period has ended, don't worry, you just need to sign in using your Microsoft login. So here you can see I've just signed in and here we go. So it's an updated license, so that's all I need. So I'm going to create a new project and this project is a business intelligence reporting services. If you can't see that, then you may not have installed SSDT, SQL Server Data Tools. So I'm going to create a new reporting server project. I'm going to actually use the wizard. That just speeds things up slightly. So my first report. So I click OK. So it then says, OK, where do you want to connect to? Well, I want a new data source, which is Microsoft SQL Server. Okay, click edit, and this is when I need the server name. So same trick as I've done previously to get the server name. And I want this particular database. I want my first database. Click OK and finish. So next we are designing the query. So you can either have your select statement or you can use a more graphical interface called the Query Builder. But quite frankly, you don't need the Query Builder now. You can just design your select statement. So let's say I was having this as your select statement and just paste it in. So next, what report type do you want? Well, you can experiment with them. I'm going to go for tabular. Matrix is like pivot tables in Excel. So there's my tabular. So what fields do I want to show? Well, I want to group by the purchase order and then I want to show all of the other items. If you've used Microsoft Access, this is actually very similar. So I'll include subtotals and that's all I need for my first report. So click finish. So it's designed this as my first report. I'll click preview. So I was in the design tab, I'd go to the preview tab and there it's giving me all the information. So for purchase order ID seven, you can see I ordered three items, a total of $106 per, 60, per item. So a grand total of $58,000. Now I'm just going to do this again. I'm going to close the solution and start it again. And this time, instead of using the report server project wizard, I'm just going to use the report server project. So this is my second report. So over here, you can just about see, if I drag it in the right place, the Solution Explorer. If you can't see the Solution Explorer, then go to View, Solution Explorer. Now, first of all, it needs a data source. So I'm going to right and click and add a new data source. So this gives me exactly the same things as I needed in the wizard. It's just differently presented. So my second data source is going to be SQL Server. So I need a server name. So Sometimes you can retrieve a list of servers by clicking on the drop down list. I've not found this in reality working too often. As you can see it's not working now. So I usually just retrieve it for myself and paste it in. So I want to go to the my first database page. Uh, database. So I'll click OK. So that's my data source. Next I need a data set. In other words, I need my particular subset of the data I'm going to be working with. So this is my data set and this is when I can paste in my SQL server code or access a stored procedure. 
and then I'm going to create a new report. So add new item, this is my report. And over here on the left hand side, I've got my toolbox and I've got my data sets and data sources at the moment they're blank. So I'm going to add a data source and this data source is going to be a shared data source. It's going to be the one I set up earlier. And my data set, I'm going to add a new data set and it's going to be the data set that I set up earlier. So what I'm now going to do in my toolbox is I'm going to create a table. I'm going to drag a table and I'm going to drag in there the purchase order ID, the order by quantity, purchase ID, so product ID, just undo that, unit price, you can see it's adding more columns, and my line total. So I'm going to preview that now and we have roughly the same information without the summarizations. So this is a brief introduction into the world of SQL Server reporting services. You can see that once you've done the connection to your data, it's not too difficult. However, there are lots of nuances to get the right formatting, to get the right colors, to get the groupings. So there is a little bit of a learning curve there. And also, this is just one of the presentations of SQL Server reporting services. You might see it optimized for mobile devices, or you might see it using SharePoint, using something called Report Builder instead of Visual Studio. But whichever way you do it, the principle is the same. Connect to your data and then bring out the particular data and format it as you wish. So this is SQL Server reporting services.